Bless the Almighty God. We thank the Lord for another day in His presence and in His Word. Bendito sea Dios. Eh, damos gracias por un día más en su presencia y en su palabra. Father, we surrender everything in your hands, trusting you that all will go well and the gospel will be preached and your word will be taught and blossom in our hearts. Eh, damos gracias, nos ponemos en tus manos, que la palabra sea predicada, que el Espíritu Santo se mueva, Señor. We pray in the name of we prayed in the name of the Lord Jesus, and we trust the Holy Spirit to guide us, inspire us, and illuminate the word in our heart. Eh, te pedimos, eh, Señor, que tú nos guíes, ilumina la palabra en nuestros corazones. Aleluya. Amen. Going to start today from uh, the book of Psalms and uh, chapter 86. Psalms 86. I'm going to be starting from uh, verse 1, 86, 1, Psalms 86, 1. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord. For I cry unto thee daily, rejoice the soul of thy servant. For unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Verses 1 through 4. Amen. Vamos a leer ahora el Salmo 86, versículo del 1 al 4. Inclina, oh Jehová, tu oído y escúchame, porque estoy afligido y menesteroso. Dos. Guarda mi alma porque soy piadoso. Salva tú, oh Dios mío, a tu siervo que en ti confía. Tres, ten misericordia de mí, oh Jehová, porque a ti clamo todo el día. Cuatro, alegra el alma de tu siervo porque a ti, oh Señor, levanto mi alma. Amén. Amén. Uh, we, we know that God always listens to prayer he's a god of prayer he listens to prayer sabemos que dios es un dios de oración y que él escucha la oración que dios escucha la oración and what is prayer prayer is basically what the word means i come before the lord with a need in my life eh, Dios es un Dios de oración. ¿Y qué cosa es la oración? Oración es venir delante de Dios con una necesidad en mi corazón. Now, we have to uh, really uh, make a definition, give a definition of, uh, of what we mean by I have a need in my life. Eh, bueno, antes de todo tenemos que dar una definición de qué significa tener una necesidad en mi vida. And we, uh, we have to uh, prioritize these needs and uh, what really our life is in need of. Amen. Starting from the word prayer in the Greek, and uh, and Pastor Mario has a very good pronunciation of the Greek also. <inaudible> it, it's it's the word prosephi, prayer, prosephi. Prosephi. Uh, prosephi. Exactly. Prosephi. Exactly. Prosephi. Very well pronounced. So this is from the word pros, which means towards. Excuse me. It's the prefix pros, which means towards. Eh, la, tiene el prefijo prose, que significa eh, towards. What's towards? Uh, towards, in front of, looking at. Ay, mirando hacia, enfrente. And the word if he, if he means a wish, that's a prayer for the believer. 
eh, y la palabra efji, que significa a wish, un deseo, un deseo para el creyente. I, I know in Latin America and European uh, Greek Orthodox and uh, similar cultures, uh, I know that uh, people make wishes all the time. Eh, yo sé que en, en algunos países latinos de, eh, y, en, y en Sudamérica, Latinoamérica, eh, la gente hace deseos. And sometimes they incorporate witchcraft or uh, any kind of false religion uh, to make the wishes come true. Y muchas veces el deseo va acompañada de brujería o de algunos rituales paganos para que el deseo se convierta en realidad. I remember uh, when I was studying in the States and uh, I was working in a restaurant, uh, people used to throw uh, a, a coin behind them into a little pool and uh, make a wish and they believed because they gave a coin this wish would come true. Eh, yo me acuerdo que cuando estudiaba en los Estados Unidos eh, la gente tiraba una moneda hacia atrás que cayera dentro de un pozo y esto los hacía creer que que su deseo se iba a cumplir que esto los iba a ayudar. So they depend on something that is uh, pure luck, something that is, in other words, the occult or witchcraft. That's what it is, uh, basically. Eh, entonces, la gente cree de que esto los va a ayudar, pero realmente esto es oculto, esto es brujería, esto es eh, algo malo. So the first thing we have to clear up, uh, uh, clear out about prayer is. To whom do we pray? To whom do we express our wishes that we want them to be fulfilled? When estamos hablando de oración, lo primero que estamos dirigiendo, quién estamos tratando de hablar. Aleluya. You see, the first part of the word prosephi, pros, means toward God. I am addressing my need to God Almighty. Primera parte, eh, pros, eh, significa mirando a Dios. Entonces quiere decir que estoy diciendo mi, mi oración hacia Dios. So many, uh, in fact, all people have wishes that they wish they become true. Que realmente todas las personas tienen deseos. But the problem is that they go to the wrong person. You cannot get something from Lady Luck. We don't believe in Lady Luck. We believe in God our Father. La señora suerte nos va a ayudar o nos va a cumplir nuestro deseo. Nuestras oraciones tienen que ir a nuestro Padre Dios. Many people go to the right, the wrong person. Somebody who lived a good life. Va... Might be called a saint and uh, might have truly been a saint. Eh, puede ser llamado un santo o más santo. But uh, it is uh, deadly wrong to pray to any other else other than the Father God. Pero está muy equivocado en cualquier otro Padre de Dios. Because if we pray to anybody else, this makes them omnipresent. We give them an attribute that it doesn't belong to them and they cannot respond because simply they are not God and they are not omnipresent. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
So make sure you go to the Father. God the Father, who, who is the source. Así que, así que asegúrese de que va, usted está yendo al Padre como... But make sure he is your father because he can only listen to those who are his obedient children. And to become a child of God, the Bible says, you've got to be born again, born from above. From the Spirit of God. And to be born from the Spirit of God and the Word of God, you need to receive the Lord Jesus as your Savior, Redeemer, and the absolute Lord in your life. Y para que tú puedas nacer de nuevo, tienes que ser tu Redentor. Amén. So, since we uh, defined that prayer has to be to the right person. Así que para comenzar la oración tiene que ser la persona correcta. And we are standing in front of God, before God, pros, towards God. Eh, y y entonces hemos estudiado este prefijo pros que significa mirando hacia el ante de Dios. The second portion of the word pray, prayer, pros of he, the second portion of he has to do with your need that you bring before God Almighty. En la segunda parte de la palabra pros of he tiene que ver con la palabra Efi, Efi, que significa eh, la necesidad. Now, let us talk about this need, because most people get to think about a prayer as a, a shopping list where they need groceries, and they list them, and they go and pick them up. Eh, hay que tener cuidado con esto de la necesidad porque la gente cree que esto es como una como una eh, lista de compras y, y sus necesidades. Of course, God knows that we have needs in this physical world, in our family, finances, everyday life. We have many needs, every one of us. Eh, por supuesto, todas las personas tienen necesidades. Todos nosotros tenemos necesidad. But the Lord has given us His word and promise that I haven't seen the righteous forsaken nor His seed begging for bread. We know that the word of God says that uh, he will meet all of our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That's his promise. So we trust the Lord for that, but the Lord said in Matthew 6, 33, he said, ask for the kingdom of God first and his righteousness And all of these things shall be added to you. So what is this need that the Bible speaks of in Psalms 86 that we just read? It says, bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Eh, dice, inclina, oh Jehová, tu oído, y escúchame, porque estoy afligido y menesteroso. Now, in, it, Spanish, in Spanish, say different. Okay. It don't say needy. It say and, and poor, in need. 
that's very powerful. Uh, thanks, thanks for the clar clarification. It's uh, a good definition of what the real need is. Eh, yo le he leído al pastor Sofo que es lo que dice en castellano, en que dice afligido y maestroso, y él dice que es una buena definición de lo que, cuál es la necesidad. Amen. Amen. Uh, so, uh, the need that we have, it's not, on, it's not only poor people have and the rich don't need to pray, it's a need that both rich and poor of this world uh, need uh, to express before the Lord. They do have a need. Eh, esta, eh, cuando estamos hablando de necesidad, no solamente estamos hablando de la necesidad que los pobres tienen que orar y los ricos no. Ambos necesitan eh, orar, el pobre y el rico. This is the key for prayer, understanding the priority of our needs and our only one special, specific need we all have, rich and poor. Esto es muy, muy específico, muy importante porque todos esta esta oración es alcanzable. This need is called. God Almighty, we need God more than anything else, more than any material thing or other needs in our emotions, in our life. Eh, esto es muy importante porque el hombre necesita a Dios. Dios es la necesidad grande que el hombre tiene. We've got to realize God is our number one need. And we don't need to be as beggars to seek the Lord in prayer, but we behave as children that need their father. No tenemos que ser como mendigos eh, ahí rogándole al Señor, sino es como un hijo que necesita a su padre. So if you're born again and uh, you realize uh, the Lord has washed you from your sins with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus, then you realize I need my father. Eh, si tú has nacido de nuevo, si te has sido lavado con la sangre, tú te das cuenta que necesitas a su padre. James tells Amen. us that uh, he is the father of lights and he uh, from him comes every good and every perfect thing. Eh, en el libro de Santiago nos dice que él es el padre de las luces y que él es el que da todo dádiva y don perfecto. The Lord Jesus has told us in the gospel of Matthew Siempre su Cristo no se llama el evangelio de San Mateo and he said, this is how you should pray, our Father, which art in heaven. Esto es como deberíamos orar, nuestro Padre que estás en los cielos. This is prayer, standing before God and speaking to God, addressing God with your need. Eh, esto es lo que es la oración. Dirigimos a Dios con nuestra necesidad. Then you say, hallowed be thy name. Luego decimos, santificado sea tu nombre. This is so powerful to realize that God uh, uh, is very much honored when we come to him having our minds on him and asking his name be hallowed in our life. Eh, Dios se siente muy honrado cuando nosotros nos dirigimos a él y le decimos a tu nombre. Aleluya. Amen. And then uh, he, he, the Lord ends this prayer by saying uh, that to him belongs the dominion and the power. So he starts with praise and worship and he ends with praise and worship. Eh, eh, es importante ver cómo acaba esta oración. Él le dice: Tú eres, eres el dominio y el poder. Y ese es así como acaba, declarando cómo es Dios. Y, y comienza alabando, 
A very powerful, powerful portion of scripture. Stay there in Psalms 86, but also let us go to Psalms 63. Also, 63.1, it says, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. In other words, you are what I need. This is my need, you, O Lord. Psalms 63, verse 1. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is to see thy power and thy glory. So as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. Verses 1 through 5, Psalms 63. Eh, vamos a leer ahora el Salmo 63, Es mejor tu misericordia que la vida, mis labios te alabarán, así que te bendeciré en ella. En tu nombre alzaré mis manos. Cinco, como de meollo y de grosura será saciada mi alma, con labios de júbilo te alabará mi boca. Aleluya. Amen. God Almighty, I seek you. I thirst for you. I'm hungry for you. You are my first need. You're my first priority. That's what the Lord Jesus means is Lord in our life. We said that God, God is, uh, God, that our God is a God of prayer. He listens to prayer. And he listens to prayer when we come in the right attitude and uh, express uh, praise and worship to him that is worthy of receiving it. Uh, lots of Christians start in the wrong way. They start with the, all other kinds of needs they have, uh, and they may be legitimate, but they uh, they lose the meaning by starting in the wrong order, starting of what they need instead of be in place to fulfill God's need. Muchas uh, personas. You see what a privilege it is to know that I'm here, Lord, for you. I'm here to please you. I'm here to fulfill your need to see your children say, thank you, praise you, my father. Eh, es tan hermoso ver eh, para Dios cuando le decimos que Señor, cuando lo adoramos, le damos gracias y lo adoramos por lo grande que es Él. When we say God has a need, we don't mean that He's unfulfilled because God doesn't need anyone to be fulfilled. He's already fulfilled and He really enjoys at the same time His children to come to Him and be pleasing to him by realizing how important is our relationship with him. In other words, uh, God is God and is fulfilled in and by himself, 
and he doesn't really need us. We really need him. We cannot be without him. He can be without us, but he chose to make us. And he made us absolutely different from any other kind of creation by giving us his spirit and the very life we live is from his breath, from his ruach in Hebrew, his very life. Eh, es, es bueno saber de que tener esta relación con Ruá, su aliento, eh, su verdadera vida, la vida de Dios, y tener esta relación. You know, we are called humans, or in the Greek, anthropos, anthropos. Eh, nosotros somos llamados humanos o antropos. And anthropos, we know the word anthropology. Well, anthropos means exactly I look up and I rejoice. I jump uh, because of joy. I leap for joy. Eh, anthropos significa que yo miro arriba y me regocijo. So we are fulfilled only if we look up and look to God. And God enjoys our relationship and our fellowship with him more than any other thing in the whole universe. Will you give it to him? Eh, nosotros tenemos esta relación con Dios y Dios está satisfecho. Eh, ¿Estarías tú dispuesto a darle tu corazón a Él? So, uh, back in our text in uh, Psalms 86, bow down thy ear, O Lord, uh, hear me, for I am poor and needy. This is what uh, uh, the Lord teaches in Beatitudes. In Matthew 5, he's saying, Blessed are the poor in the spirit. In Matthew 5, this doesn't mean they are poor in the spirit, that they have a mental problem. They lack mentality. They lack uh, the mental health. It doesn't mean they are poor in this way. But in the same person, in the same way, a person without uh, finances, a poor, literally poor person, needs finances desperately to uh, make a living. In the same way, we should realize we're poor in spirit, meaning we humble ourselves to, rea to realize and declare, Lord, we need you. Without you, we cannot even exist. Preserve my soul from holy I, uh, O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Verse 2. Eh, vamos a leer ahora 86.2. Guarda mi alma porque soy piadoso. Salva tú, oh Dios mío, tu siervo que en ti confía. What makes us holy is the blood of the Lord Jesus in the New Testament. It's the shed blood of the Lord Jesus that once we 
uh, uh, repent of our sins and acknowledge the Lord Jesus in our lives, the blood of Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ cleanses us from all unrighteousness, makes us holy. <inaudible> Es la sangre de Cristo la que nos santifica, la que nos limpia de todo pecado. Nos para para él. Somos santos. Amen. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Verse 3 and verse 4. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Eh, ten misericordia de mí, O Jehová, porque a ti clamo todo el día. Cuatro. Alegra el alma de tu ser, porque a ti, oh Señor, levanto mi alma. Aleluya. Amen. We bring before the Lord our soul, and we say, Lord God Almighty, we thank you, we praise you, we lift up our soul before you, because you are the only one that can satisfy our soul. You are our absolute soul need. Eh, nosotros traemos nuestra alma, presentamos nuestra alma delante del Señor, le decimos gloria, es este magnífico, porque tú eres la única satisfacción, lo único que satisface mi alma. Amen. Amen. The word of God says in Acts 17, 28, and it says, in him we live and move and have our being. In, in the book of Acts, Chapter 17, verse 28, it says, in him okay. we live and move and have our being. En Hechos 17, 28, eh, dice la palabra, nosotros en él estamos, en el momento de nuestro ser. Amen. Realize your need to become a child of God. Repent of your sin. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart. Eh, reconoce la necesidad del Señor Jesucristo, arrepiente de tus pecados y recibe a Jesucristo en tu corazón. And uh, ask him to wash you clean from your sin and you will become holy before his eyes through the perfect life and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that was shed for you so that you can have eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In this closing moment, we are going to pray for those that need a touch of God on your body to be whole and healed. And we believe the Lord Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's what the Word of God says. En este momento vamos a aprovechar para orar por aquellos que tienen una necesidad física, eh, porque el Dios sigue siendo el mismo ayer, hoy, por los siglos. And by the stripes of the Lord Jesus, we are healed. Y por las llagas del Señor Jesucristo hemos sido curados. Father, we exercise spiritual authority that you have given us in Luke 10, 19. Eh... En este momento nosotros ejercitamos nuestra autoridad espiritual que tú nos has dado en Lucas 10, 19. We shall turn on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm us. Y sobre todo obra el enemigo y nada nos podrá dañar. We thank you, Father God, for your power to heal as we rebuke every sickness and disease to disappear from the bodies of believers and those that put their trust in you. Be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus and give God the glory as the only source of healing and the only healer. God our healer. Es sano en el nombre de Jesús y darle toda la gloria, toda la honra y todo el poder a Jesús, el sanador. And go in prayer and seek the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of the Lord Jesus receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as he gives you the utterance. Eh, ve, eh, eh, el bautizo del Espíritu Santo, el poder del Espíritu Santo y hasta que seas lleno del Espíritu Santo y empieces a hablar en otra lengua como el Espíritu te da. 
Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Maranatha, dear brothers and sisters, see you next time in this program. Amen. Eh, muchas, eh, damos gracias a Dios. Maranatha, Cristo viene pronto, hermanos y hermanas. En pronto, en el próximo programa. We love you, Pastor Sócles. Keep us in your prayers. And